Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the glorious return of our solo series. And my dear friend, this episode is a special one. A celebration, if you will. Of what you ask? Well, let's not get hasty, my darling. In due time. In due time. And what better way to kick off a celebration with a drop of good old reliable. Train Station HQ. And speaking of drops, why don't you go ahead and drop an early like on this episode for me, will you? And if not for me, do it for the Noise Warden Bureau. Now, Train Station has become a bit of a nightmare lately, and I've just today realized why. The one and only two-time champ himself, the doctor who only prescribes violence, speed, and momentum, well, he's taken a liking to our little headquarters here. And with the following as gargantuan as his, the word is out. You know, I've always liked that word, gargantuan. I still really have the opportunity to use it in a sentence. Now, of course, our approach to infiltrating the premises differ quite radically. I've become quite fond of the newly renovated east side entry. Once inside the inner doors, I gather what I can and quickly but quietly make my way up the stairwell all the while gathering intel via sound patrol. And said intel now tells me that we have an enemy stomping about on the roof like a Muppet. We can also assume that one has breached via the south side balcony and most likely another one down the second floor north side corridor. Now Doc, the maniac that he is, he drops roof, gathers whatever he can and shoots right through the ceiling windows dropping in the middle of god knows what. Ballsy and faster to be sure, but not the methodology we practice here at the NWB. This suicide zoom is an atrocity, but if, well, let's just give it a shot. Alright, now, now this is a problem. Rufy has now migrated downstairs and I still got dime store Markovich flipping burgers in that kitchen. Let's try and motivate him to take a cigarette break on the balcony. Then we can rotate right for a better gun. And a boy, there you go. Yeah, this big fucker will do. No doubt Rufy is going to try and third party us. Yep, that sound cue tells us he is directly above on the balcony stairs. We are going to quietly rotate around and see if we can catch him off guard. Missed opportunity on your part, Rufy, and that might just come back on you. All right, we got the money. Let's break out this beauty of a first loadout, shall we? Now you're gonna notice something different here. Now normally, yes, I'd toss the smoke through the doors and grab Lodi on the tip top, but Rufy's sneaky little ass might be up there, so it's safe to drop on the glass. And look, you can't blame Doc for dropping Roof like a lunatic. For all his many attributes, and there are many, Nuance certainly is not one of them. He was a Superstore guy after all, I mean, come on. 
Anyway, Doc, if you hear this, the train station doors are always open to you. And maybe consider giving those doors a try instead of breaking through the glass ceiling like a crazy maniac. You see, I knew this little son of a bitch was lurking around here somewhere. Pain is temporary. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, kitten. <laughs> Ah, that was as entertaining as it was unnecessary. But we can't pass up an execution opportunity now, can we? Now all this time you might have been wondering, what am I doing without my beloved Car 98K? Rest assured, she's coming. But I've been having a lot of fun lately, going SMG AR off the rip, and then swapping the AR for snipes on a second loadout drop. I forgot how much fun ARs can be. And moreover, since I recently achieved this beautiful platinum finish on the Amex, well, it's not going to flex itself now, is it? And if you think for one second, the color scheme we have going on here with uh, Carbon Wraith, the Snow Leopard, Platinum Camos, and the Cross Multiply Mac 10 is an accident, you are woefully mistaken. Recon's inbound! UAV entering the AO. You thought I was going to keep forgetting that muni box, huh? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Now, our bounty based man is going to hightail it out here in that truck. Solos are so much better since they nerfed the truck spawns, right? Night and day. Final circles are finally about positioning, patience, and gunplay, as they should be. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. You know what? I bet that was Meow Mix Mara coming back from the gulag. Let's find out. Gas is inbound. And look at that, right next to your old corpse. Oh man, that's that's a shame. Anyway, moving on, now we're going to exchange the Amex for the car 98. Let's do a quick sensor sweep. Looks clear. Off the hospital. Oh, hi. <laughs> the old window break fake out trick, huh? Well, I see your window break and raise a door open entry fake out. And now you're out of stuns. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, it's a party. Hmm, I wonder who won. Let's find out. We're out of time. Scrub the contract. Stunless, you're smarter than that. You know you gotta relocate after all that commotion now. You know I'm about the third party, you're sorry ass, right? Come on, man.
Oh, and will you look at that? I'm, I'm just now realizing that I've got a bounty on my head and Smart Money says Tack Rover is coming to collect. Let's get a little closer and confirm our hunch with the triple threat. Yeah, that's gotta be them. Unless there's another shipbird over there too. Enemy UAV overhead. Okay, it looks like shipbird is plotting on Tack Rover. Yeah, that was definitely a parachute. Good Christ, it's a whole flock of shitbirds over here. Oh, that daddy would be so clutch. Should I risk it? All right, screw it. Oh, you might have escaped before, but you're mine now. Where are you? Whoa! Almost gave me a heart attack, this guy. Props, man. I, I was not expecting that move. I like your style, little bush ninja. Keep it quiet out there. Whew. Okay, that's got to be it on this side of the tracks. What the? Oh, you know you fucked up too, huh? Look at you. Anyone on train? Nope. Okay, so their mistake right there was taking shots when they have to rotate my way. If they were patient and smart, the play was to track me across and engage once in zone. That was just a failure of trigger discipline back there. Simple as that. All right, we got some money to spend. Let's make our way to Four Corners buy station. Now we are going to approach with caution as the chances that a sniper is perched atop one of these rooftops is quite high. And those shots confirm it. So here's how I deal with four corner snipers. We're going to backtrack the big white, obtain the height advantage and invert the power position. Now it's true, you, you never know, but most likely no one is up here already or four corners would have already been neutralized. Here we go with this rat shit. I took no damage because the dunce placed the claymore too close to the elevator shaft. Fucking amateurs. You know, I bet you these are leftover traps from uh, our Four Corners friend.
<laughs> How those weren't headshots will remain a mystery. Airstrike, you are cleared, hot. Bring the pain. Good copy. Strike it back. Shots missed. All right, now where did you scurry off to? Man, I am so exposed up here, but I really want to kill this little prick. All right, they're clearly not taking this ladder, so let's do a sweep. Is that? <laughs> sure was. Also, I had no clue there was a ladder back here. Is this new? In. Recon's inbound. Another thing, I'm sure Bush Wraith down there was not the Four Corners sniper. They were in Alice, I believe, so we need to stay vigilant. I wonder how long Wraith was bushing it up down there. Solo players, they are their own special breed, aren't they? Make for target location. Of course, the classic big red rooftop camper. We should have a line of sight from top bank. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Man, I am off today on my headshots. All right, I'm pushing the schmuck. They're gonna cower in the stairwell like clockwork and I'm gonna give them the old MAC-10 special. These people are so predictable. You can set your watch to their movement. Alpha underscore banker one. I, I want you to remember that name and remember it well. Soldier, win here and you return to the front line. I hated this gulag. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this fucker out. Stand by for redeployment. Wow, I just made that gulag too. Shit. Alright, alright. I can't wait to show you my uh, patented trick for the new one, by the way. Works, uh, let's say, 8 out of 10 times. Gas is closing in. Relocate in the safe zone. I guarantee you this drops right in the open. Nine Fuck it. Hope to the Loadout drop headed your way. Okay, nice gas mask. Just one plate, that, that's, that's all we need. <laughs> all right, you TV twats, let's do this. Hmm, a little too quiet.
Let's tag this up here. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Maybe a little tag there. Okay, all right, okay, we got this, we got this. I should have tagged a few more sprays, but oh well. My heart is beating out of my chest right now. There is a lot on the line, my friend. And on top of that, I must have revenge on that bastard alpha banker. Even more than victory, I want vengeance. And don't worry, I'm, I'm keeping a close ear on that door behind me. Eyes front, ears back. Marty, I love you, baby, but, but you gotta understand. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Five spectators, two left, and here's one of them. All right, they were focused on southeast. It's go time. Gas is closing in. Sick his ass. <laughs> Go ahead and pop that shampoo, baby. That's win 200. Sleep on the ground these days, it's still quite viable and the best option for your fully loaded class in fifth circle all or nothing situations like the one you just witnessed. The Korean Savage, you know, K3, he's even been running it as his main lately. If you don't know him, check him out. He, uh, he's great vibes, another solo specialist for sure. People, we are inching our way to 1,000 subs on YouTube and I appreciate every single one of you, especially you OGs, you know who you are. Oddly enough, however, we are around 25k on TikTok, where the Noise Warden Bureau was founded. But the migration to YouTube has proven surprisingly difficult. I made two YouTube channel announcements on the old talk, naively assuming a 20k migration overnight, but uh, yeah, that, that didn't happen. In any case, we're going to keep at it, of course. So many fantastic upcoming episodes for you. And I know, I'm, I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, I must be the least prolific Warzone creator in history. But what I lack in frequency, I hope I make up for in quality. It would be infinitely less taxing if I simply did live commentary during the episodes, like most everyone else. But I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, my more curated scripts and take on narration is a major reason why you're here. One other quick question while I have you, would you like me to start streaming? If so, I think I'd like to go the YouTube route. But, uh, you know, I'm considering it. I'm considering it. Please let me know in the comments. Although I have so many solos and duos games I cannot wait to share with you, I think it's time to bump it up a notch. Next episode, we'll be introducing our trio series. We'll be featuring the C58 as our main, complemented with the Milano, and I have been having so much fun with that loadout. The C58 is basically old school AMAX, man. It just hits right, sounds right, feels right. And that Milano, ooh lordy. And to be sure, noise protocols all but go out the window in trios, but the NWB secretary, she understands. Sometimes in order to achieve quiet and Verdansk, 
you gotta make a little noise.